This segment of Domarva Life is brought to you by Baywater Farms. Fresh, local vegetables, you just cannot beat them. Now, we're not just talking about lettuce, tomatoes, and sweet potatoes. No. How about rainbow carrots, bok choy, several varieties of greens? That's what you'll find at Baywater Farms in Salisbury. And this summer, you can get all those varieties and learn ways to incorporate them into your family's meals with Baywater's CSA program. I stopped by Baywater Farms to dig into this growing program. Investing in the future of our local family-owned farm starts here. Baywater Farms in Salisbury is expanding its CSA program. CSA is uh, community supported agriculture. Andy Holloway is a sixth generation farmer and since 2011 he's worked the land to meet the needs of a new generation. The CSA program is part of that plan. The traditional sense of it is when the community would get together and rally behind a farmer and pre-buy all the seeds for the season for everything that the farmer was going to grow and then he would share the bounty with everyone else. With Baywater's program, consumers don't buy the seeds, but they get a portion of the harvest over a 12-week period. We give you a set date, a set time of when you're going to pick up your fresh vegetables. And at Baywater Farms, variety is the name of the game. One of the other things we love to do is give them recipes as well. So it's not just giving you unique produce that's grown right here in Salisbury, uh, but it's also saying, hey, you may have never seen uh, Swiss chard before. You may have never seen purple kale or whatever the case may be. Here's a cool recipe, and this is what it looks like. And we're getting a lot of people that are really interested because they'll see things in these bags that they didn't even know grew around here. Things like shishito peppers. It's a Japanese variety of pepper, and it doesn't take much to prepare. You can eat it raw or you can saute it, flash fry it. Um, and it's really good. All right, so this is your CSA bag? Yeah, so this is a great example of one. This is a full share. So mm -hmm. remember, there's two different sizes. And, you know, we got a lot of great things in here that we grow. Um, this is uh, dill and basil, mm -hmm. um, you know, that we grew and, and keep it cold with the uh, insulated bag. So we also work with another farm, though. We work with uh, Blades Orchard oh. uh, up in Delaware. And so we like to get the um, apples from them because I don't have any apple trees. So, you know, and the people that enjoy the CSA, they want some uh, apples and pears and peaches and things mm -hmm. like that. Um, this is going to be uh, romaine. This is grown in the Gothic, which is that big one that we're, the big greenhouse we were just in. That's a full head. Um, and, you know, it's beautiful and it's it's weathered uh, nicely because it's out of the wind. Yeah. It's out of the wind and no dirt and all that sort of thing. And you have some um, other yeah. greens in here. Lots of greens. We're greens heavy in the spring. So yeah. this is, as you can tell, hydroponic. So that's ah. the root. The root's still on. The root's attached for a longer shelf life. Um, and this is actually sold just like this. And it's no spray. We still ask everybody to wash it, but you cut like that, and it's ready to be made into a salad. Really? It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, let's see. This is going to be bok choy. Bok choy. Yeah. So that's really great in stir fries. This is grown outside, so you see it's a little tattered, but really uh, it's it's going to be fresh as can be once you get it uh, into the frying pan. Okay, I see. Yep. Salad mix. This is one of our favorite things. Uh, this is a greens mix, so we make our own greens mix with uh, I think it's four or five different varieties. I know what that is. That's right. First year, <laughs> we're, we're really going heavy in asparagus this year, um, so we are hopeful for a lot more. And just like the plants in this greenhouse, that variety continues to grow. We never want to be bored around here on this farm, so we're growing things. So this year, I can tell you, there's probably 10 different items that we didn't grow last year. The bulk of Baywater's business is providing produce to large grocery stores, major wholesale produce suppliers, and restaurants. But Andy says providing a fresh selection of locally grown, sustainable produce to the community, like his father and grandfather's before, is what he's most proud of. I think it's giving us a lot of energy, feeding the community, um, you know, getting back into it. Because B2B is a nice, easy sale. You're talking about a big group of a lot of stuff. But when you're feeding the community and you're hearing back and somebody's calling you about rhubarb pie at uh, 6 p.m. at night, it says, all right, this is kind of cool. A process he hopes continues for generations to come. And you heard Andy mention rhubarb. That's because he did receive a call from someone who wanted to know if he could start growing rhubarb. The customer was from Pennsylvania and grew up on rhubarb pie. And he says, sure, I'll try it. So he's planting rhubarb. I don't think I've ever had rhubarb. <gasps> really? My mom used to make rhubarb pie. Really? Oh, so good. Gotta try it now. We're gonna make yep. a return visit. Delmarva Life will be right back.